Good morning, everyone. I'm Katie Sullivan. I'm a volunteer here at Work Camp. Hi, Katie. We're really happy to be, have you all here with us today. Um, and for this session, I'd like to introduce Cassara Drury. She's been designing and developing in WordPress for quite some time now. With a background in pretty much everything from print through web, Cassara believes there's no limit to what is possible with web design. She spent her last year kayaking, designing, having a baby, do that with other software, and putting together this presentation, ladies and gentlemen, Cassara Drury. Here I am, I am graphic designer, self-taught developer. I went to school for design at Ball State University and they have, a, they have a great tech program there. Got some really good ideas. And then I started working and I decided that, oh my gosh, I need to start developing websites because when I design something, they give it to the developer and the developer says, I can't do that. And I decided that, yes, you can. So I um, taught myself how to develop. I've been working with WordPress for about three years and I work at a small agency in marketing in Columbia, um, right And so today I want to show a, uh, a bunch of web WordPress websites um, to smash any misconceptions of what a WordPress site actually can look like. Uh, a lot of people think, okay, I'm going to develop a WordPress, so it's going to look like this. Or I'm going to develop a WordPress, so it's going to look like one of these layouts. And if you have a great design and development team, you know, two people, Make some easy stuff. So I want to inspire you guys, and then I'm going to wrap up with design tips and ways to get your site awesome faster. So first, I am going to walk through some industries uh, that are using WordPress. All the websites in the show today have, were either found on the WordPress showcase site, or I just knew that they were WordPress because I knew the design developer, or I looked in the source code and I saw. Not always you can't find the whole time, but that's how I did it. So um, I want to make sure that everyone knows that WordPress is not confined to any industry. It can be from large corporations to nonprofits, from tech startups to bakery shops. WordPress can be effectively used in any industry. So the, our government, our government uses WordPress. This is just one example of the VA Loan Center. My husband is a veteran, and we had to go here, and I was like, hey, this is a pretty nice site. And look, it's WordPress. That's pretty awesome. Um, photography. This website was built by Reshma um, from BC, BC Designers, and uh, this is a great example of how amazing design is. What was the URL for the veteran? It is VALoanCenter.net. Can you give us some I can I can say that. Yeah. This is Kimmy Reed. Um, Plaza.de. This is a uh, Buddy Press site. So if you don't know anything about Buddy Press, what happened was when they released Buddy Press, it's a plugin that can make your WordPress site into a social media platform like Facebook or Twitter or things like that. So everyone has a login and everyone can post and things like that. So. Plaza DE is a great example of a WordPress site, and it's also similar to Google Places. You can log in and you can say, hey, I went to this place, it's really awesome, and check it out. Also not in America. <laughs> Red Hot Chili Peppers, you get a little taste of my music taste here. They use WordPress. The site is really cool, very clean, and when you hover over the navigation, the whole background is changes in that animates. So pretty fun. And of course they play music on it too. Excuse me, that's what, what was that? Red Hot what? Red Hot Chili Peppers. Chili Peppers. I can slow down. I do talk fast. Just let me know. Um, this is the first school, a very famous school in um, I believe in Europe, actually. Maybe? I'm not sure. Um, but they, education is a great um, industry that uses WordPress all the time because education, colleges, they don't always have a very big budget. Um, and if, if you didn't know, Maryland University so it's actually built on WordPress too. So this college uses WordPress. One of the developers is actually speaking too, Eric Judy. 
Um, Spotify. Spotify uses WordPress. I don't know if you know Spotify, but it's the new Pandora, pretty much for anyone to use Pandora. And you've heard about Spotify, probably Facebook. Probably switch. In tourism, our big tourism site in St. Louis, Explore St. Louis, is a WordPress site, um, explorestlouis.com. It was developed by Integrity. Um, if you were at the opening of Ed, he helped develop the site. It's a great example of a really dynamic slideshow uh, that was incorporated into WordPress. So those are the industries. Those are just a sample of industries that use WordPress. You can do pretty much anything with WordPress. It doesn't matter who you are. And I wanted to make sure you have that. So design style, something that a lot of designers talk about, is they want it to function one way, or they want it to look one way. And so we're going to go through some design styles that designers think about when they develop their websites. Um, what, did I want, what did I want to mention is a colleague of mine once mentioned the feeling when collaboration between team members is awesome. The feeling is like flying. You feel each other's energy. And if you find your flying partner, you can make websites like this. So just make sure that you find your best teammates and then you can make your WordPress sites look amazing. So this is Daniel Island. Daniel Island was also developed by one of our speakers, uh, Medicaid. Um, Randy Hicks, who's actually talking right now. This website is more of a minimal design. Um, but it has a ton of functionality built in. It's actually a portal for people to search properties on Daniel Island, and they log in, and then they can get feeds of properties um, similar to uh, like vacation homes um, if they want to keep tabs on it. So it's great for their property owners, and it's great for the property manager as well. And then we go all the way to the other direction. We have minimal, now we have heavy graphic. And this is a great example. Uh, this is angelsrugs.com. This site is jam-packed with photography <coughs> and texture, but it's still usable because look how you can see the navigation right on the site, but you can still concentrate on the photography. Um, this was built by GoRingo and uh, Lisa Coots, who helped uh, Head Start um, working today. And then the one pager. Everyone's really excited about the one pager. And when I say one pager, it means the whole website is built on one page, and you just slide back and forth, or up and down, or around and across. Um, and SEO Design Week was built by Automatic Dust, sorry, Atomic Dust. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and this is a fantastic example of a one-page design. You click on this little thing, and it twirls around, and then it comes up, and it talks about the events that are going on next week in St. Louis, all about Design Week. Check it out. It's sdldesignweek.com. This is an example of a portfolio site. One of my favorite designers, Jessica Hish. She is an amazing illustrator. She does a ton of typography um, work. And she actually developed, or she actually designed a lot of book covers for the new, uh, the revamp of the Barnes & Noble classics. So if you saw them, she did that. They're amazing. And then a blog. Of course WordPress is used as a blog. But what can a blog look like? A blog can look like this. This is a photo blog of the Clouds 365 project. Um, if you don't know about it, you should check it out. This guy spent every day, went out and took pictures of clouds, and then he made it a community event where everyone took go out and take pictures of the clouds and then submit it to the site. It's a great blog. It's very cool. The e-commerce site. WordPress is a great platform to start your e-commerce e-commerce website. This is an example of a ski gear shop, and it's full of visuals of people skiing and really excited about um, getting out on the mountain, catching some snow, but it's also a great WordPress website. What's the URL for that? That is momentskis.com. Harvard's pretty smart, right? Well, Harvard uses WordPress. That's pretty awesome. Um, this is a great example of an informational site. So if you want to showcase a ton of information, WordPress is a great one for that, too. Harvard.edu. 
So those are some examples of design styles in industries that use WordPress. Hopefully you've seen some good work so far. Now I want to talk to you about some big companies that use WordPress. So more and more corporations are jumping on the bad bandwagon. Open source, which is what WordPress is built on, it's kind of a scary thing to corporations because it means that everyone knows what the website's built on and everyone knows what the code is. So that means that security isn't always fantastic. And corporations think that's kind of scary. But it doesn't matter now because WordPress is getting more and more secure as much as you can update it. And they're okay with it. So they're starting to use it. And it's really exciting because maybe one day everyone's going to use it. And that would be awesome. <laughs> So Best Buy, I was really surprised. I saw this in the showcase and I was like, Best Buy. Best Buy is WordPress. That's pretty cool. Pepsi. Pepsi is WordPress. Network solutions? Really? They were on the showcase. It's very cool. Smashy Magazine. Many of you have probably been to this website. If you haven't, check it out. It is awesome. The responsiveness of this website will blow your mind. Just take your browser window and go. You're going to see some amazing work. It's awesome. Of course it's awesome. It's snatchy nice. Carnival. Man. They need to be able to put some content out there, don't they? So, Carnival. Carnival uses WordPress. It's a very clean site. It's very nice. Bozilla Labs. If anyone loves Firefox, here you go. Mozilla Labs uses WordPress. Firefox and WordPress together are a great uh, combination. And then this was kind of funny. You guys remember um, install your own WordPress.org um, uh, software. You, use, you probably use cpanel. And cpanel's blog uses WordPress. So there are endless possibilities of what WordPress can look like. And again, if you have a great team, you can do anything with WordPress. And I really want to make sure that that is pushed out there. Because if you, ever, if you ever get someone saying, I can't do it, or this is not possible, it really is. WordPress can do anything that you can think of. You just have to you know, work hard and find a really great team member. But there are things you should consider as a designer. Plus, so these come to so think about your target audience. You might have this great idea of what your website should look like, but if your target audience isn't that savvy or doesn't think that's cool, then you should probably you know, take a step back and really think about what they want to see when going to your website. 